Hey guys, what's up? It's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you this Halloween home decor featuring different characters. So for this, I'm going to be using or reusing rather these coffee tins. This is where I get my coffee and I just save them. I don't know, they are like handy for this kind of DIYs. Mine are stained, like you can see, is because I did use them for this DIY. I shared the DIY and I liked it, but I wanted to try something else. I couldn't get rid of like the paint, so we know that the paint is good. But then I just thought it would just add to the whole Halloween vibe. But yeah, I'm just going with it. So for the first one, my candle drip. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. Doing this technique that I saw all over Pinterest. That is like a candle drip. Doing this like so. And a lot of people use like wine bottles. And I think it looks amazing. It looks really cool. But I'm going to be doing this with this one in some places just like pretending that there's like actual drip did those uh, like details in the bottom i'm going to be painting like the base with my purple acrylic paint and my brush giving this a few coats and letting it dry in between coats now i'm going to be adding my black using this like acrylic paint and my detail brush and this is where i spent most of my time because i just wanted to cover like the hot glue parts it's kind of like time consuming this part but i think it's like worth it i think it looks really cool so yeah for this i would recommend you a like detail brush for my mommy i'm going to be painting first this with my white acrylic paint and my brush giving this few coats and letting it dry between coats i actually painted two of those ones in white i'm going to be doing a couple of pair of eyes so four eyeballs for that i'll use my round sticky labels and i found that easier to work like this just so that i can see the center part i'm going to be cutting like the four round stick labels that i need then i'm going to be using my black acrylic paint and this brush now this brush is for makeup but i'm going to be using the back of it as a big dotting tool adding those dots big as center as you can make it if you want you can in different uh, directions just so that your characters will be looking at different directions then i'm going to be cleaning my brush like this and once my paint is dry i'm going to be sticking that to my thin then i use some medical gas cut it in half and i'm going to glue it with my hot glue gun the first one facing towards my left side wrapping around and then the other one towards the right side and then if you have like spaces that you didn't cover you can just glue leftover pieces then i'm going to be adding a mouth drawing a line with my pencil using just like sponge i'm going to be showing you it in a second for my candy corn, I'll use the other thing that I painted in white. And with this yellow acrylic paint and my tiny brush, I'm going to paint the third third of the bottom. Giving this few coats until it's like nice and like popping. Then with my orange, I'm going to be doing the same thing but in the middle, the second third. Although for this, I did use my detail brush just so that I could get as straight of a line as I possibly could. But yeah, once you have your space, you can fill it with a bigger brush. Or you can just start with a bigger brush if you want to. Now for Frankenstein or Mr. Frankie as I call it, I'm going to be painting this in green, of course, but I'll make a lighter version of the green that I have because I thought it was like kind of dark for what I wanted to go for. I'm mixing this with some white, just a tiny bit, not too much. Covering the whole thing, giving this three coats, and then once it's dry, I'm going to work on the hair. For that, I'll just you know add some like spikes in here with my pencil first just so that i could have a base and yeah just be random as random as you can i think it looks better when it's not even and when they are like different and then here i just use the same sponge thing that i showed before I wanted to show you it close up just in case you want to go for this i got this at nyx or next i think to try on eyeliner i tried a white liner with this and then i just liked it i kept it that was a long explanation to why i have this one i'm gonna paint those like hairs first with this going with the edges because i want them to be kind of like sharp and then covering the rest with my like bigger brush i'll just stick my two stick labels that i did before and here i'm just adding the details of like the parts of the boo-boos the injuries that they have those i'm gonna be adding two with my pencil adding a couple of lines like this then across three of them using my same tool with some red acrylic paint finally i'll just add a mouth doing the same thing that i did before this is for them by themselves like single them but i'm going to be stacking them using my hot glue gun first i'll add mr frankie adding some hot glue on like one side towards one side then on top goes my honey corn leaned towards the right 
then more hokugan towards the left adding my mommy and then here i kind of made a mistake but i kind of liked it how it turned out at the end it's pretty much up to you here i'm just adding my first well the last or the first candle drip one towards the left i was meant to glue it on the right but i think like it better this way because it looks like the one on the top is actually falling so the drip makes more sense now but yeah it's pretty much up to you i kind of like it this way better but yeah this is what it looks like by itself and i think it looks really cool but i wanted to add a plant to make this a plant base like i had it before adding some block of foam in my plant this is the plant that i'm adding this is a fake plant and i like i think it looks weird but i like it for that and this is what it looks like with the plant on i like both options the one without the plant and with the plant with the plant it looks like halloween home decor with a purpose you know what i mean and without it it looks just like halloween home decor some days i might just remove the plant just because i want to be able to see the whole thing I and mean, sometimes i'm just gonna keep the plant on i really like it i think it looks so cool fun to look at and it was so much fun to make but hopefully you like this too let me know which one you like the most don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more halloween home decor that i have on my channel and subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye